Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, um, my health anxiety uh, YouTube channel is all things health anxiety. Um, I share my own experience, any tips that I've learned along the way. And yeah, it's just a place for you to know that you're not alone. So if this sounds like something that would benefit you, please hit subscribe so that every time I put out a new video, you will be notified. Um, in this video, I want to talk about, I'm, su I'm surprised I haven't spoken about this before because it's something that I used to really, really worry about uh, back when my anxiety was really, really bad. And I was worried that I would push myself into, well, I thought that I would drive myself insane and that I would end up in a mental hospital because I believed that I was going to drive myself to schizophrenia or bipolar or psychosis, you know. And I think this is a fear among many of us. We get to the point where we think that we've lost control and that we're going to go insane. We're going to go completely mad. And I can see why we all worry about that because when we are really, really struggling, it feels like we just have no control over our thoughts. We are in a very, very dark place and it's easy to assume that, you know, we're going to keep spiraling out of control. But I think there is enough solid evidence out there to suggest that anxiety can't cause schizophrenia or any other um, severe mental illness. Um because those kind of conditions are have a you know genetic predisposal so um it's usually you know there there has been some instances where if schizophrenia runs in a family and you go through a very very stressful period or you take a recreational drug and um, that it's been triggered but it's probably it probably was going to come out anyway um it's kind of like you've just sped up the the process um but i've definitely in my darkest moments you know i've kind of been at a point where i think i'm going to lose my mind um I'm not going to be able to function um, and I'm going to have to go into hospital. Um, and I know many people over the years have, have, you know, messaged me and they've said that they feel like they're losing control. And it's a very, very, very scary situation to be in. Um, and I've been in it twice in my lifetime and both times, you know, are absolutely terrifying. And I think it's just important to remember that no matter how bad we are feeling, um, we can still get that control back um, and it can take a lot of hard work it can take a very strong support system it might uh, mean that you have to go on some medication um, it may even mean that you need to you know be under a psychiatrist or a crisis team um, to get you through that period because it can be really really tough and I just want to tell you about my own kind of um, journey with this kind of scenario and I want to say before I do say this that it could be quite triggering to people um because I do go in I am going to go into detail of like what happened with me when my anxiety got really really bad um but I hope that in some way it will be reassuring to show you how I now am and how I've got over it and I've overcome that that period of my life so um after I had my son, um, so my son is eight months old, and I've 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 said this story before, but um, for those of you who are new or haven't, you know, heard of that story, I'm gonna repeat it. After my son was born, um, I had a couple of complications in my pregnancy that turned out to be nothing really major, but um, it really kind of made my health anxiety spiral out of control, and I had postnatal depression after my after my first child, my daughter. So there's something in me that when my hormones are very high, um, which they are during pregnancy, that I don't really cope very well and it makes me very, very poorly uh, mentally. Um, so yes, I was in a very, very bad state. I was going back and forth, the doctors, A&E, um, the assessment unit uh, in the midwife part of the hospital, pretty much every other day, um, was completely convinced that I had 
a couple of separate conditions which I won't go into because I don't want to trigger anyone um but I was constantly in there um and it started to affect my sleep so I was heavily pregnant and you know my daughter was almost two at the time and I just completely stopped sleeping um I was probably getting like an hour or two every single night so as you can imagine I was completely exhausted and because of the extreme uh, lack of sleep I started to hallucinate um which of course was absolutely terrifying um I was hearing voices um smelling things that weren't there seeing things out of the corner of my eye and things like that um and this can happen you know extreme extreme sleep deprivation can trigger hallucinations um but I thought that you know I was developing schizophrenia or something um but what it really was was the fact that I I really needed to get some sleep so um I was put on I basically was given sleeping pills um which they didn't really want to give me because of, you know because I was pregnant but um they had no choice because I was getting very unwell and so I um I started to to take those tablets and um I started to sleep a little bit which you know was was really good for me because as soon as I started sleeping a little bit um those hallucinations really started to die down um but I was still convinced that I was going mad and that you know there was something seriously wrong with me um other than anxiety and I didn't believe that anxiety could cause me hallucinations and all of these really scary symptoms that I was getting um, I thought that because I was hallucinating I had like a brain tumour or that it was, you know, like schizophrenia or schizophrenia or uh, bipolar or something like that. And multiple doctors and, you know, I was under the perinatal mental health team, the crisis team, they all explained to me that anxiety can be very, very extreme and intense and that they felt like I was describing a severe form of anxiety um but I was in such a bad place that I just couldn't accept that it was my anxiety and I you know thought it was something something else um and uh yeah I got very very unwell um I don't really want to go into details because again I don't want to trigger anyone but um I was very nearly sectioned um not because they thought that I was psychotic or anything like that just because I was at a point in my life where I, I don't think they trusted me and because I was so heavily pregnant I think they feared for both my life and also my unborn son at the time um because I was demonstrating uh suicide tendencies and ideations and things like that um but you know I gave birth to my son uh, naturally through all of this my biggest achievement because you know I was at a point in my life where it was the darkest days ever um after my son was born I progressively got better and better and yeah I think for me hitting that rock bottom time in my life and planning my own you know suicide and again I'm sorry that this is triggering but I just want to be honest um it really made me value life and I'm at a point now where every single day I feel so much gratitude for the fact that I was able to get the help that I needed and that even though I thought I was going crazy I pulled myself out of it with the with the support from my family my friends um all the midwives the crisis team that I was under the perinatal mental health team just so many people helped me and they helped me because I was speaking out about it and I think that is such an important thing to do is just is to speak out and tell somebody how you're feeling and yeah I just you know I was put on I was on sertraline as well um and yeah, like I'm at a point now, my son is is almost nine months old and I am in the best place that I feel like I've ever been in in my life. And, you know, despite those fears of me going crazy and and being locked up forever, that definitely wasn't the case. Like, you know, anxiety can be very intense and it can drive us to do or want to do some some very dangerous things. But, you know, even though we feel like we're losing it, 
deep down we are still there and that is very different from people who genuinely have severe mental disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar and uh, multiple personality disorder and things like that but it's very I can see that it's very easy to assume that because of how bad we're feeling that it must be um, there must be something else going on but I think you know you can't underestimate how serious and how intense anxiety can be you know um so yeah I just wanted to put that out there because I've had a lot of people message me and they've like had this fear of of driving themselves crazy and I think it's just important to remember that even when you're at your absolute worst like you absolutely can recover like I've done it myself I know that and I've seen other people do it as well I know that it's possible and you know it's not an overnight thing it does take time but you can absolutely do it uh, and deep down you know we all want to recover that's why that's why you guys are watching my videos you know it's why we go to the doctors we get medications because none of us wants to feel this way like it's such a horrible way to live um so if you are at a point right now where you think that you're driving yourself to insanity and that you're losing control just remind yourself that you're not and the fact that you are thinking those thoughts goes to show that you're not because somebody who was dealing with schizophrenia would not be having that logical logical way of thinking um because people who are dealing with you know psychosis they don't have that reasoning in their mind you know they're kind of uh, that's why they're very very unwell so i think the fact that you are watching this video right now goes to show that you're not losing it you're just in a very very dark place with your anxiety and your thoughts are taking over and you now have to put in some serious hard work and it's difficult you know some really really hard work to claw yourself out of this pit that you're currently in and like my heart goes out to you because I've like I said I've been there twice and the the most recent time was definitely the worst and I never I never thought I was going to get better I thought I there was no way in my mind that I thought that I would be okay right now like I'm looking forward to Christmas like I just never thought that this would be happening for me um because of how low i got so i'd love to hear your got you guys story and experience that you've had with this and i think it's it's really nice as well to kind of just to show other people that they're not alone because so many people do feel alone when it comes to this stuff and some people don't have a great support system or feel like they can't speak to people about it um so if you would be willing to kind of type down your own story of like times where you have felt like you've you know almost lost control or you feel like you're driving yourself to insanity um type it down below it's quite therapeutic and it just allows people to to see that actually a lot of us have been through this and a lot of us have actually recovered and I think that is a really encouraging thing an encouraging message to get across you know we're living in a very difficult world at the moment we're in the middle of a pandemic you know things are definitely just difficult for people at the moment you know we don't have the support system that you know we usually have and everything is delayed at the moment people are not being able to see their counsellors or psychiatrists and everything's done kind of online so I think right now we all need to support each other and let everybody know that they're not alone um because you know we've all been there at some point um and yeah recovery is long but it is possible that's the last kind of message that i want to put across so thank you for watching this video um i really really appreciate it and if you uh i don't want to say if you, not if you enjoyed it it's quite a wasn't a very nice topic to speak about but if it helped you um at all please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very shortly. Stay safe. Bye.